What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Artie Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So, what's today? Thursday. That's right, baby. So, it's time for another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Y'all, we got a we got a special video in Treat For Us. We got a video here from Watch Mojo. Shout out to them. Been watching them for years. They got a video titled, Top 10 Sexiest Women Per Decade 2020 or 20. 2000s y'all know I'm, we're so far ahead now so we're past the 2000 era so anyway i mean not really because we're still in it y'all know what i mean this ain't the early 2000s we 2020 baby 2020 technically it's the early because we still got 2100 look i'm i'm it's thirsty thursday let's let's get thirsty <laughs> y'all ready i'm ready let's go Bring on the women's up. As the new millennium turns. <gasps> Already. Already. Y'all, fellas. Fellas. Y'all know what Jessica Bill do. Y'all, Bill? Bill? I know it ain't now, but y'all know what she, boy, she was another level. Look, that, my body was perfect on this woman. Over. These were the oh. that turned. I remember this movie, too. I know Adam Sandler was happy. I felt like I was Adam Sandler in this movie. Everyone on. Uh. Oh, you want a bite? Yes. Welcome to Watch Mojo Doc. I want all the bites. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sexiest women per decade, 2000s. Give it to me. This list, we've looked at only the sexiest women of the 2000s. There are no criteria specifics regarding their profession. We've included all famous females for this one. Why don't you just come here and kiss me again? Don't get me started. This Don't get me started. A series of videos on the top 10 sexiest women spanning the decades from the 1970s to the 2000s. Enjoy. Fate doesn't decide everything. Oh, we going back in time with it. Let's go. I'm down Number for the get down. Jennifer Lopez. Woo. You you're not my type. J-Lo. In today's sexy show, a little bit of J-Lo. The singer and actor. Oh, I forgot her and Ben Affleck was involved for a minute. That lucky son of a... Look. Driss was just about the hottest personality in all of Hollywood yes. at the turn of the century. Yes. And she had one of the hottest bodies in the world. Mm. I'm still, I'm still Jimmy from the block. Desired especially for... Yeah, like, it was crazy is J-Lo was known for having that voluptuous booty. But now, shit, J-Lo butt ain't special. You know, you know how many girls I see every day walking down the street in Atlanta with better butts than J-Lo? You see, you see the women's on TikTok, and I'm talking about the women's. They, they put J Lo to shame. Her booty ain't nothing now. Back in the day, it was like, dang. Now it's like, boy, stop. go on somewhere with that little booty. For her perfect derriere, every music video and movie that Miss Lopez starred in was well worth taking a that. few minutes out of perfect. your day for. And that Versace dress that. at the Grammys, a stunning. Style. Oh, I remember that dress, boy. I was like, damn, J Lo. Sexy! Something that we'll simply never forget. Well, Jennifer, this is the first time in five or six years that I'm sure that nobody is looking at me. Al Ben <laughs> wish Jenny was from their block. Hell yeah! I'm still Jenny from the block. Number nine, Shakira. Shakira, Shakira! Oh! Speak that Spanish, baby! So hot, we sing her name twice. Shakira, Shakira! Shakira came out of Colombia in the 21st century and took over as the sex symbol of pop music. Yes. Hey, stop before we get copyrighted. Oh, for hit single Whenever Wherever had fans daydreaming about her whenever wherever. You know it. Whenever, wherever, we're meant to be talking. I'll be hearing you be there. This album had people rethinking the sexual promise that household chores could bring. I don't think I knew that was a secure song. The best-selling single of the century until that point, and that's the truth. Is it any wonder when her hips and her body in general look like that? Britney Spears. She hit us baby one more time at the end of the 90s before becoming a sex icon of the 2000s. Yes, she did. She did it a lot of times. 
this right here, this is my favorite Britney of all times. Well, dang, she looked extra skinny right here. <laughs> but it was just like, she, she was raunchy and dirty. I don't know what it was. I just like that dirty look. <laughs> a girl, but wasn't yet a woman. I'm not a girl. I know the song. I know the song. I was a big Britney Spears fan back in the day. Isn't she saga surrounding her virginity made Britney seriously, seriously attractive. Bruh, when I tell you I watched this music video a million times, it was this scene right here that just had me messed up. This is what Thurston looked like. This ain't simping. If you don't know the difference, go watch my videos on simping. You'll learn something. Bleah. Look. Oh, that, I remember thinking that was the luckiest guy on the planet. <laughs> Down in 07. But we're prepared to leave Britney alone on that one because her glory days were gorgeous. Oh, baby, don't you want to... I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Jessica Alba. Oh, yes, I should have figured. Bro, y'all remember Travis? Shut up, Travis. Y'all know my, my former roommate? He's obsessed with Jessica Alba. He thinks Jessica Alba is the hottest thing on the planet. Thank you for a little kinkster. She began the decade as our dark angel. Yeah. And ended it as our every kind of angel. Jessica Alba's rise to stardom was seriously sexy. Is that all you've got? As Bruce Willis astutely observes, she grew up and filled out for her role in Sin City. Before Boy. Or teasing audiences further in a skin tight get up as Sue Storm in Fantastic Four. Excuse me? Equally as eye catching as Girl Next Door Cam Wexler in Good Luck Chuck. In that movie, she works at. It's the smile for me, man. Jessica Alba, bro. You know when I first fell in love with Jessica Alba? And what was it, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids? Or Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? One of them. She was in one of those. Yeah, y'all didn't, y'all don't remember that, huh? She was in one of those movies. It, whichever one it was, that's when I was like, who's that? The Penguin Enclosure, which must have been difficult considering how hot she is. Me, thank you. Whatever you say, Number six, Megan Fox. Woo, oh, Megan Fox. Tell you how much I'm not your little bunny. Hey, look, this is the Megan Fox I like before, you know, whatever she did, you know, the surgeries. For this lady, things are... I like them natural. She was a natural beauty. Very much a case of Fox is as Foxy does. She's an evil job concubine, man. Itty bitty little booty committee. I let her hitchhike. Megan Fox. You know, I'm going to tell you how fine Megan Fox was. My mom, rest in peace, mom, my mom thought she was fine. My mom was watching the episode of Two and a Half Men and Megan Fox came on there and she was like, baby, come, baby, come here. Come here. You got to see this girl. This is this is the kind of girl you should be with. You need to find you one of these girls. She is so pretty for a white girl. <laughs> I was like, mom, what are you, let me let me see what you're talking about. I walk in the living room, see what she's looking at on TV. I'm like, oh, that's, that's Megan Fox. Yeah, she's super fine. She was like, yeah, she's pretty. She was like, you get a white girl, she better be that fine. <laughs> that's how fine Megan Fox was, baby. My mama liked her. My mama don't like nobody. Kickstarted her career by confessing as a teenage drama queen in 2004. Before that was a good her movie. Major breakthrough role as Michaela Baines. That was a great movie. In Transformers in 2007. Damn, that oh, was my... 2007. God. Dad. Got him old. He was a he was a real grease monkey. A movie which transformed her Hollywood profile and transformed our ideas of sexiness. The dark-haired dream girl even had the decency to reprise her role for an 09 sequel. That face. Bruh, I just realized how BS that dang on <laughs> scene was. She's supposed to be spray painting. You don't scrape the freaking needle across the dang on gas tank, you fool. You scratching the paint off. Clearly that's fake. Decency to reprise her role for an 09 sequel. That face, that body, that attitude. Surely she came from outer space along with Optimus Prime and company. I had fun, um, so. I ain't even gonna lie, uh, Machine Gun Kelly is still a very lucky guy. He's still, she, even though she, her face don't look the same, she's like a different person. She, he's still a lucky guy. People could say she's hotter now. I don't know. I mean, she's still hot. Yeah, thanks for listening. Number five, Heidi Klum. Yeah. Um, sales, seals, sales. I'm, 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 <laughs> I was like, how? How did you get her? Then I heard his voice. I'm like, Okay, I understand now. Germany 
has a magnificent history within the world of modeling, and Heidi Klum is easily one of the country's most excellent exports. <laughs> Having signed with Victoria's Secret in 1997, Klum could be looked at for much of the 2000s in just her lingerie. And we're guessing you did look, and then looked again, and then again, and just how does she do it? The occasional foray into acting meant we even had the odd opportunity to ogle her in moving film. Ogle yeah. away, people. Ogle away. Oh, I know. Giants are supposed to be big, ugly, and mean. Number four, Charlize. Did I see that movie she played as a giant? Theron. Bruh. You know when I first fell in love with this woman? I done fell in love many times. I can't fall in love now. It's, 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 I don't even think I'm possible or capable of falling in love now. Not really. But when I was younger, I definitely had love in my heart. But <laughs> I fell in love with this woman in Mighty Joe Young. Bro, I was like, who is this white girl? She fine. There aren't many people who could win an Oscar for playing gruesome serial killer Eileen Warnos and be selected as one of the sexiest women of all time. Yeah. But Charlize Theron isn't like many. She's a legend. Like, she, oh my gosh, she's such an amazing actress. What's the name of that movie that came out recently of the people that can't die that's on Netflix? Very cool movie. Yeah, it's about people that cannot die. And they just live forever and just deal with some crazy stuff. But yeah, she's in that movie. Other people. Really? Theron is a class actress and an even classier lady. Why are you telling me all of this? Appropriately sure of herself and her sexiness, she has been able to take on intense, sometimes uncomfortable roles and still wow us whenever she walks the red carpet. It's crazy. She can please, she can tease, she can have you on your knees, could Charlize. I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Number three. Shwadia Rai. Who? I ain't never heard of this woman. What, what, what's happening? Frequently called the most beautiful woman in the world. Dang, she fine, all right. Ooh, she Indian. Oh, no, look, look. See, look, this is how I know I'm not ready to settle down. I'm not, be honest, truth be told. I don't even know if any woman gonna wanna deal with me because I can't, look, I gotta taste the rainbow. And Indian is definitely one of those flavors that I'm trying to dabble in. Dabble, dabble, di you know what I meant. Aishwarya Rai was thrust into acting after being crowned Miss World in 1994. Dang, 94 Miss World? She's fine. Originally a model, Rai made her acting debut in 1997. And she quickly became a mainstay in Bollywood cinema, appearing in various commercial... Ah, that's why, Bollywood stuff. ...hits throughout the 2000s. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's like, look at me. I was born with great genetics, great genes running through me. Easy catapult to success. <laughs> gorgeous face to ads for global brands like Pepsi and L'Oreal. Rai is not only... Ah... Right here, she looks familiar. I guess older, I'm starting to recognize who she might be. Considered sexy for her looks, but also for her humanitarian... Gosh, she just gets prettier with age. ...in work, which includes efforts to eradicate polio and poverty. Nice. It's gorgeous. Number two, Angelina Jolie. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. I got stories. I got stories. Let's listen. The lady should be modest. Yes, a lady should be modest. She like, I ain't no lady. After completely outshining Winona Ryder in Girl Interrupted, Angelina Jolie. I want to see that movie. Lee wrote into this decade on the coattail <laughs> of her own Oscar success, and she did so in the. Fellas, y'all understand what goes on in a man's head most desirable way possible. I'm over here thinking about marriage. <laughs> ah, no, I was, my mind was not in the gutter. I was literally thinking, I was like, yo, had I had an opportunity, I would have married this woman. Do you know I can't resist a bit of fun? The world
word luscious doesn't do Jolie's lips justice. For real, those things are watermelons. And if the eyes are the windows to the soul, then her soul is scorching hot. Have you been selling big guns to bad people? I remember that scene. We haven't even begun to describe Angelina's body, but that's only because it leaves us speechless. The first five left. Do y'all know who her father was? I just found out the other day that... I can't remember his name. Give me a second. I gotta Google it. Sorry. It... Angelina Jolie's father. What's his name? John Voight? John Voight? Boy? I can't say his last name. But yeah, this guy. I didn't even know that that was her dad for the longest. He's freaking famous. I, I love watching movies with him in there. Even though I never really knew what the heck his name was. <laughs> I love anything he was in. Like, like that's your dad? It, it just makes sense. ...of her name sum her up entirely. She must be heaven sent. <laughs> yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Mizif, baby! I remember watching this movie thinking, yeah, they're gonna be together after this. This was just too hot. Before we unveil our top pick. Before we go any further, I, like I said, I got stories, right? So I remember years ago, this is probably like 10 years ago, I was a bum sk skater on the street and stuff like this. And I came across this dude at a CVS. I was with a friend of mine and he was a skater too. And he had just moved in the area. He was like, yo, yo, man, that's cool. You skate too, bro? Yo, let's skate together. Let's hang out. You want to come over my place and smoke some bud and, and drink or whatever? Yo, that's when I used to do all that stuff back then. And he was like, yeah, just come through. Just come through. He's like, yo, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I just moved over here in the area. I live with my girl. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, she looks like Angelina Jolie. I mean, like, she she really does look like Angelina Jolie, you know. I just want to warn you just so you won't be caught off guard and think that that's Angelina Jolie. I'm like, bro, you capping. Whatever, you capping. All right, cool. Let's let's link up. I'll come over there. We hang, chill, smoke, this, that, and forth. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. I went over there, right? Walked in the door. Greet him. Or he greets me. We sit down. We chill. And then his girl walks in the room. She looked exactly like Angelina Jolie. I was like, hi, how you doing? What's your name? <laughs> Angelina? Oh, it's not Angelina. Okay. Yo, when I tell you she had the body just like Angelina Jolie, the face was the exact same. I was like, I remember when he told me, I was like, she might resemble Angelina Jolie, but I bet she don't got the lips like Angelina Jolie. Y'all, she had the lips like Angelina Jolie. I was like, bruh. You literally have a clone of Angelina Jolie. Like, I'm sitting there. We're talking and stuff. He had another one of his buddies came over that was friends with this one artist in Atlanta. I came in. Roscoe Dash. He was friends with Roscoe Dash. Like, best friends. Whatever. That dude came over. And we're just sitting there talking. I just keep looking over it. I'm like, oh. God, this chick is hot. Here are a few honorable mentions. The thought of me creaming myself when I strip for strangers doesn't turn you on. Natalie Portman definitely has a sweet spot in my heart. Definitely. It's something about her. I'm like, when I see that face, it's like the face for me. I love pretty faces. Oh, like that, yes. It's like the face trumps all for me. Yeah. Yeah, she's a pretty strong contender, but there, there's an honorable missions. I definitely wouldn't put them in the top ten or nothing, but. I'm all wet. Can I come in? I would not let you in. I don't trust you, but um, can I come in? <laughs> I'm still not quite sure. Oh, come on. How, come on, Miss Barry. Miss Barry's still fine as heck. Y'all see, I follow her on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> How good you are. What movie was it? Monster Ball? They was really getting it in. If you look closely... Th that was real. That that wasn't acting. They was that fool's luckiest. Look. So good. Try to have one more night to live. Yeah. I, I always thought she was cute, but um, I don't even know if I put her in the honorable mention. I, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's definitely a pretty woman, though. Come on, Penelope Cruz. You got. Honorable mention. Heck no. She did need, she deserves to be on the top 10 list. We need like a top 100 because there's just too many beautiful women in the world. 
but this is 2015, man. We we got we got new baddies that made it on the scene now. So I need a new list. Give me a hundred. Excuse me, officer. Bruh. Um, my cut. Bruh. I used to watch the reality show. I never missed the episode. I never missed the episode. I knew, I knew from the jump that he wasn't gonna stay with her. I'm like, this bride is stupid. She is so dumb, bro. You, 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 look, you got way more sense. I could tell he used to be so aggravated by her. Yeah, I remember watching the reality show with her and the dude from 98 Degrees. I used to look at him. I'm like, bro, you, you're a good looking dude. You got, you got a good head on your shoulder. Your broad. I remember I was a kid. I was a teenager. Me and my mom would watch this show and be like, yo, she, he's going to leave her. Because <laughs> she is like, bloop. She's like a blonde. She's like a blonde, a dumb blonde. But she's doing the thing now. Her, she got a whole little a uh, 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 shoe thing. Uh, she got shoes and heels and all this. A, 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 a freaking female friend of mine was telling me about it. She's making money. She's a pretty woman, gorgeous. I remember those do, those um, what they call it, shoes aren't made for walking. I broke down up the street there, and I was wondering if y'all could help me out. Well, yes, ma'am. We'll be happy to. Oh, you're sweet. Oh yeah, duh. Come on. She, what? How this thing go? Oh, look at it. God damn, she's fine. How does tennis player ever to grace a court? Come on. Easy. Oh, bro. Lucy Lou. I, ooh. Love me some Lucy Lucy Lou. Ooh, ooh. Number one, Monica Bellucci. Who? Who is that? I don't know the name, but I might know the... Everything else. To out-sexify the likes of Jolie and Theron, you have to be truly something. And Monica Bellucci is definitely that. <laughs> the Italian model turned actress is just achingly attractive. After roles in various European movies, including Irreversible, Bellucci... Dang, she said that good. She's part as Persephone in The Matrix Reloaded, had audiences rewinding to watch her scenes again. We got her number one. Who put her in number one spot? I'm not, she cute. She cute, but I wouldn't even. I, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't have put it on the list at all. It was three of the honorable mentions that take her. She wasn't kissing your face, Come my on. love. Best known as a face of fashion, however, Come for the on. second half of who made this list? I'm upset now. The decade she was Dior's leading lady. All right. Her resume goes unrivaled. Her prettiness unparalleled. Her sex appeal is unsurpassable. If you want the key maker, follow me. I see women that look like her every every single day when I walk out the door. I go to Whole Foods and see women that look exactly like her every single day. Do you agree with our list? No. Some of them, but not the last one. Or should I say the first one? The first place one. I will put Jessica Bell number one. Anyway, y'all know what time... It is Jessica Bell, right? Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> you like this reaction, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the links to the video is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the ground, man, Twitter, at all the kicks. And I'm sorry I talked so much. No, I'm not. I have fun. Till the next one. <laughs>